Charles. And I'm Noah. And uh, this video is on the orders, the insect orders. And we're going to explain to you guys how we studied for the test uh, that Dr. Delaney gave us. This, uh, this video will be very helpful um, when you're going to study and uh, get a good grade like we did when we took this, uh, the quiz. All right, so for the first order of Coleoptera, when you think of Coleoptera, you got to think Coleoptera, Coleo, cool. What was cool? The Beatles were cool. Like the band, the Beatles, that was cool. So that's how you remember Coleoptera. And the fact about Coleoptera is they have four wings and the first pair is thickened or hardened. Next one, Lepidoptera. Sometimes you just have to think, what does the word sound like? Lepidoptera? We thought, let them live, because they're butterflies, they're beautiful animals, you want to let them live. That's how we remember that one. And they have four large wings covered by scales, different than other ones. All right, the next order we have is Plecoptera. So the root word that we have here is Plec, and that means like rock, stone. So when you think of like a stone fly, that's how you remember it, because it's a stone fly. So Plecoptera, like stone, stone fly. And a characteristic with stone flies is that they have four membranous wings uh, held flat over the abdomen when they're at rest. Next one. Hymenoptera, we usually start with the base word. Hymenoptera, sounds like hum, like a buzzing. And uh, ants and bees and wasps, they hum and buzz. So that's how we, we remember that one. They are um, classified with small and distinct wastes. All right, the next one we have is Trichoptera. Um, to remember this one, uh, we thought that uh, tri was like three, so 30. Um, cop, uh, like the cops, um, if you have like a case of beer, uh, you get caught by the cops if you're underage. And caddis flies make cases that they live in. So that's how we can remember caddis flies. It's a little bit of a stretch, but, but you'll get it. That's how you'll remember it. And um, a characteristic is that these caddis flies resemble moths as the adults but their wings are hairy instead of um, scale, like scaly. The next one, Isoptera. Base word is iso, um, and we like football, and a football play is iso, and um, iso would be a good play to run, and termites eat wood. They, they break down wood with their cellulose. They break down the cellulose um, of wood, and termites, they have pale, elongate bodies, they have chewing mouth parts, and their antennae are about the same length as their head. So iso, wood, and termites. All right, for the next one, we got mantodia. This one's obviously pretty easy, like mantids. Um, just so uh, mantids, mantodia, that's pretty easy. Uh, it's not that hard to remember. Uh, if you get it wrong on the test, uh, that there's something wrong, because it's just pretty easy. Uh, and the uh, characteristic is grasping front legs and they have a triangular head which, uh, which you can be able to identify them in uh, nature. Next one, Dermoptera, Dermoptera. Um, so derm is kind of a base word for, that has to do with skin and um, earwigs are known to, you know, go into your ears when you're sleeping. So they go into your ear and your skin, derm skin, dermoptera. They, have, they also have uh, pincher-like cerci and slender bodies. All right, uh, next one, neuroptera. Um, so when I think of this one, you think of like neuro, which is like the brain. And uh, if you were to drink something that is laced with something, uh, or if you were to like do a substance that was laced with something bad, uh, it would really mess up your brain. So that's, uh, so lace wigs, so like neuro, lace, uh, like lace yeah. wigs. So, um, and that's how we kind of remember lace wigs. And they have four membranous wings with many veins through them. Next one, Glatodia. Glatodia, um, 
you know, blat kind of sounds like bladder, which is bladders are pretty gross, and so are cockroaches. Um, you know, you don't want to find them in your house. So, blatodia, bladder cockroach. They are flat bodied and their legs are modified for running. They're really fast. Um, all right, uh, and then last one that we have is uh, Orthoptera, and this is talking about grasshoppers. And in the word, you kind of see hop grasshoppers. Their their femur is modified for jumping, so like hop. And they also a, a characteristic is chewing mouth parts. So ortho and the mouth. That's uh, how you have your chewing mouth parts. Uh, that's all of them that we got. Uh, we hope that really helps you out when you study for your uh, your quiz that Dr. Delaney gives you because we did really well on it and maybe you guys can do really well on it as well.